Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will be UV unwrapping our character. Now, the whole point of this is so that we can actually apply our textures better and we have more control over it. So essentially what we're doing is marking lines along the, the mesh and then kind of cutting along those lines so that we can kind of unwrap the whole 3D mesh onto a 2D plane. So let's begin. <clears throat> So I'm just going to do the body for now and I'm not applying the modifiers yet so you can see the mirror modifier and subdivision modifier are still there. I'm going to first unwrap the head so I'm going to make a line across the front here and then the line joining to the back of the head and then the head separating it from the body. To, do, to mark the seams, you just do Control e and then mark seam. I'm going to separate the hands by the wrists, so you just do a loop seam around the wrists and also um, a slice through the entire hand, pretty much, as you can see here. You can undo it by Control e and Clear Seam. So I'm also going to mark along the sides of the body, so just all under the armpit and down the body. And the feet are also going to be disconnected, so um, a loop mark seam around the ankles. And to unwrap, you just select all by hitting A and then click U and unwrap. Blender has an automated inbuilt function to unwrap for you, but um, if you have complicated meshes like this, you're going to need to you're going to have to mark seams. Otherwise, it's it's going to look like terrible. Now I'm marking the uh, foot as well so that we can separate the foot. Anytime you have an enclosed object, you kind of want to break it in half by either a slice through the middle somewhere. For the inside of the mouth, I'm going to also slice the mouth this way, like, like as you can see, cutting the face in the um, ZY plane. Now right now I'm just highlighting a lot of vertices because I'm trying to see which ones in the UV unwrap they correspond to. Now I don't really know how to do the opposite way because if you highlight things in the UV unwrap they don't highlight the, the vertices in the actual mesh. I'm sure there's a way to do it um, but I just haven't looked closely enough on, as to how. You can probably just write a Python script quite easily to do that. I might do more script, might do some scripting in the future as well. But right now what I'm doing is applying the actual mirror and subdivision modifier. Now you can see there's a lot more vertices. I'm going to click unwrap and see what happens. There's, um, so the method that I just showed where I mark the seams and then unwrap it and then apply the modifiers isn't the best way for like a beginner like me because as you can see now, the face looked very, very not symmetric, like right here. Um, it's not symmetric at all. So to fix this, um, what I did was just, in the end, um, apply the modifiers and then just mark the seams from there and unwrap from there. Because there's no point in marking some seams, applying the modifier, checking that it's wrong, undoing the application of the modifier and remarking seams. It's just too tedious. Um, if you're very experienced though, you can probably do it easily. Um, mark some seams and unwrap and it'll look perfect. But it took me a few tries. So this is the second uh, way, which is the way I just prefer, in which I've already applied the modifiers and now I'm just remarking the seams to see how, because my face was too unsymmetric when I unwrapped it, so I'm trying to fix that now. And it's taken me a while to realize what the issue was. The issue basically was that before when I marked the seams, I didn't connect this T shape here in the front with the side of the neck. So as you can see in the picture, I needed to connect that down behind the ear and around the neck to kind of um, separate out the whole face. That's what I did and the result, as you can see when I unwrapped it, looks a lot more symmetric. This looks a lot better. So 
So after I unwrap, I want to put a texture on my object to see what the texture looks like. Now Blender has a lot of automated textures you can generate, for example the checker pattern, which is what I'll show. To do that, you just need to click the, um, you just need to create a new image over here, and then call it checker or something, and then you need to save that with Alt S. Now remember, saving is really important because if you just you know, if you have a Mac like me, command save just saves the Blender file. It doesn't save all the associated images. So you need to do Alt S on the images. I've made this mistake many times and had to redo a lot of things. And then the and then on the bottom left hand corner, you can see the shader editor. In here, we can actually use a nodal format to apply textures to our model. And does, you can also add effects and stuff, which is why this nodal um, sh uh, architecture is really useful for adding complications. For example, later on we're going to layer textures on top of each other. And in order to see your texture, you just click this, the, the button there, to see it in the, the shader, the materials uh, panel. And here you go. This is basically the result and it looks pretty alright. So I'm going to just stop here because if we need to re-unwrap later on, I'll just come back to it, but I didn't really want to spend too much time faffing about here because I want to get started texturing. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.